In this lesson, we'll look at single trade discount examples where we have to find the net and list price. Let's quickly review what a trade discount is. A trade discount is a reduction in the listed price of a product or service offered by a seller to a buyer within a specific business to business transaction. For example, manufacturer to distributor, wholesaler to retailer, and so on. And unlike retail discounts that are commonly offered to end consumers, trade discounts are designed to facilitate and incentivize bulk purchases. Now, because we're dealing with single trade discounts here, how we calculate retail discounts is really no different since we're only dealing with a single discount. Nevertheless, let's take a look at example one. The question reads, Skate World sells a pair of skates for $55.60 below the suggested retail price. Skate World claims that this represents a 35.1% discount. What is the suggested retail price or list price? Now, to answer these types of problems, we have to refer back to an idea that I introduced in the past. And in one of my previous videos, I taught about the formula BR is equal to P, where B represents the base value, R represents the rate, which is the percentage written as a decimal, and P represents the portion. But when learning about financial math, usually this formula is replaced with the one that we see here where rather than portion, we actually define it as capital D, which represents the discount. The rate is replaced with small letter D, which represents the rate of discount. And the base is replaced with L, which is the list price. Now, what's clear from the two numbers given in the question is that 35.1% represents the rate of discount because it's a percentage. So we'll convert this into a decimal number by dividing it by 100%, and this gives us a D value of 0 0.351. Now, according to the question, we don't know the suggested retail price, but we do know that 35.1% of it gives us 55.60. So this value right here represents the discount, capital D. And if we substitute these values into the formula, D is equal to LD, we can isolate for the list price. So substituting 55.60 into the formula, L remains unchanged and D is equal to 0 0.351. All we have to do is apply some algebra by dividing both sides by 0 0.351. and we end up with capital L. So using our calculator, we have 55.60 divided by 0 0.351, and we end up with, we want to round this to two decimal places, 158.40. Therefore, the suggested retail price before the discount is $158.40. Let's move on to question two. This time the question asks, a store advertises a discount of $48.95 on a pair of shoes. If the discount is 25%, what price were the shoes sold for? Before we answer this question, I want to introduce another formula used in financial math. And that is the formula that the net price is equal to the list price take away the discount. Using the information provided in the question, we can actually find out what L is. We've already technically been told what the discount is. We can find L by using the formula, capital D is equal to L times little d. Again, this is the same formula we used in question one. So in for capital D, we'll write down 48.95. L will be left blank and 25%, it is clear that that is our rate. So dividing that by 100% gives us 0 0.25. Subsequently, if we divide both sides by 0 0.25, those cancel out and we're left with what we get for L. So 48.95 divided by 0 0.25 and we get our list price of $195.80. All we have to do now is substitute that value into here 
and subtract from it the discount, and this will be the price in which this item sells for. So taking the number on our screen and subtracting from that 48.95, and we get an answer of 146 85 cents. Don't forget to conclude with a therefore statement. And finally, for our last question, a home theater system listed at 1136 has a net price of $760. What is the rate of discount? Now, this question is no different than a percent change problem. And in one of my previous lessons, I've taught that percent change problems can be solved using the formula I plus minus I R is equal to F, where I represents the initial amount, F represents the final, R represents the rate, and this plus minus represents whether it's percent change increase or percent change decrease. Since we're dealing with a discount, then it would be minus. So let me just go ahead and make that adjustment. Now, in math finance courses, rather than using this generic formula, instead they use N is equal to capital L in, in parentheses 1 take away little d. If we factor out an I from this formula, 1 take away R is equal to F, we end up getting the exact same thing as the one that is used in most financial situations. So we'll use this formula for the sake of simplicity. We're told that it is listed at 1136, and we're looking for the rate of discount, so it is little d that we're looking for, 1 take away d, and the net price is 760. So all we have to do is solve for d. We can solve for d by first dividing both sides by the 1136 factor. That cancels out. Don't evaluate this just yet. Just leave it as a fraction in exact form. And instead, on the right side, we now have 1 take away d. All you have to do is solve for d. So we move that d over, and we move that over, giving us the equation d is equal to 1 take away 760 over 1136. Hopefully you have a scientific calculator. So we do one take away and in parentheses divided by 1136. We end up with a value of roughly 0 0.33, which then gets multiplied by 100%. And we end up with a rate of discount of 33%. Now that you've seen three examples, if you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.